Welcome to the Isle of Lewis, the home of Bain Jack, the UK's biggest community wind farm, operated by the Point and Sandwick Trust. With an expected operational lifespan of 25 years, this wind farm will generate millions of pounds for the sole benefit of the local and wider Western Isles communities. We'll hear from a variety of perspectives who'll discuss the significance of the project for the island and local community. Shemisha Callum Donalach Asaru. I'm Callum MacDonald from Point and Sandwich District on the Isle of Lewis. We wanted to um, have a wind farm that would benefit the whole community. And the way to do that was to have it fully community owned. All the profits from the wind farm uh, go back into the community. None go to any individual shareholders. Uh, it's the entire community that benefits. But we also try to benefit the wider Western Isles community as well. We make a fair amount of, of revenue. So we spend that on things like the local hospice, on uh, woodland planting throughout the islands. We've planted 150,000 trees so far, and there's a range of other things we do right across the island so that everybody benefits. NG were, were critical for us. It's a great working relationship. As you can imagine, as a community, uh, trying to build a nine megawatt wind farm when you have no assets, no previous record in managing wind farms, you're starting really from scratch and you need to find partners to work with you, partners that you trust and that are willing to trust you, that you'll make it to the end. We found that partner in Engie, and uh, I'm happy to say it's a, it's a good long-term relationship. Engie are always keen to come up to the island to attend our AGMs, which is great for the local community to see that. And we found there's a strong cultural connection as well, in that um, one of the, the famous traditional industries in the Hebrides is the weaving of Harris tweed. The looms used by uh, the, the Hebridean weavers uh, came from Yorkshire, the Hattersley looms, which they use in their homes. So, uh, you know, that kind of cultural connection also helps uh, and uh, helps you develop a good relationship with the people because of Angie's own background, of course, which is the headquarters in Leeds and uh, the manpower it draws from that area. I'm Ben Finiti. I'm the PPA Sales Director for NG Supply UK, based in Leeds. We've been involved in the project right from the start. One of the key things was that the bank gets a return on investment and got them comfortable with a 17-year term. Also key is the bankability of NG Supply UK as the off-taker. We also helped the project team with the commercial elements of the PPA, such as which power index to use and what risks and rewards they could have on the various options that were available to them. We regularly meet with the project team at Point and Sandwick, either through Teams down in London or here on the island at the annual AGM. During these meetings, we discuss various market fundamentals. We also help with strategy, for example, should there be forward fixing, should they be looking at selling power to corporates, and things like this. Anything to help them with the rate of return for their project. We've also widened the project away from just wind, and we've done a pilot study for hydrogen on the island. There's a huge resource here on the Western Islands for, for wind, but the grid constraints mean that new onshore wind development is very limited. Hydrogen could be the answer to that. Resilience is another key problem on the island, and we've looked at a battery project in conjunction with the project team at Point and Sandwick, and that's currently ongoing as we speak. Smisha Callum Graham, Tana Garapastaham Yasru. I'm Callum Graham, and I was born and brought up in the village of Garabustin Point. I've been involved in particular with two projects where Point and Sandwick Trust have been. Um, the main funders. Uh, the first of these is uh, to do with the uh, Point Football Club. We had a brand new state-of-the-art stand set up three years ago. Point and Sandwick Trust were the main funders for that project. They were extremely helpful in all sorts of ways, not just with the money, but with some technical advice as well. A very good example of that is uh, Bethesda, which is a hospice and it's the only hospice in the islands. Point and Sandwich Trust contribute something like £55,000 every year to the running of, of, of that organisation. And it's been a huge facility in these islands. Point and Sandwich Trust, I think uh, it has contributed to a feeling of well-being and perhaps confidence in the community, especially in the community of Point and Sandwich itself.